Hello everyone, it's your boy Kanon Suzuki here, back at it again with another new spanking Hot What If video. Tonight, this is the last video of the day. Hopefully I did good on my promise that there would be three videos coming out on the same day. But without any further ado, this is What If Deku was female Void Termina's twin. Now he will be male, obviously, and she'll most likely be the ship. I don't care what you say, incest is wincest, and I don't even think it counts as incest because technically Boyd Termina isn't exactly biological matter. So, without any further ado, let's begin. <sighs> we go to death. We, it all started many years ago. At the beginning of existence. Where we see two. Where we can see a woman. With long hair. Hair. And what appears to be white skin with rainbow cracks all over her clothing and bright red eyes with a red heart in the middle and even a halo this woman then says ah, annoyance loneliness these are the two things I deal with most Lonely, ever so lonely. If only I had someone to talk to. Yes, that's how it all began. The goddess wanted someone to talk to. When suddenly she got the idea of you, of creating a perfect, exact replica of herself. However, making this replica the opposite gender and she didn't want a perfect carbon copied clone and so through much trial and error she created izuku now he wasn't like his sister at all but he was cheerful And chaotic. Oh, so chaotic. Whereas his sister was, well, dull and, and was orderly and dull. She was usually serious and cared a lot about order and all of that. Whereas Deku was very joyful and chaotic. And so, she created, and so, oh, Deku and her begin to interact. First, it started with a little game. A game called Three Questions. Deku asked three questions and his sister had to answer them. Deku's first question was, What am I? Void Termina, or Void, then said, You are me. You are, you are my brother. You are a god. Your name is... Izuko, Izuku Termina. Deku then said, who are you? And she then said, I am a, also a god. I am Void Termina. As Deku then said, what is our purpose? As... 
void and say, thought long and hard on what to say, till she then said, our purpose is to be together. Through thick and thin, all right? Deku then said, all right. As he then smiled and morphed into this form. As she then said, though, hmm. Well, I will see you later. As Deku would then say, What do you mean, see you later? As she'd then say, Oh, I will be floating off in the vast reaches of existence for, for a couple minutes. Don't worry, I'll be back in a jiffy. And so she floated off, and when she returned, and she told Deku a bit more. <clears throat> like why she made Deku. And her response was, I made you to be with me. And Deku then said, well, why are you here? As she then said, I was made to be with you. However, one day while De Deku and his sister were exploring the vast cosmos, they were attacked by mortals who sought to... who sought... And who thought that Deku and his sister were too powerful. And that if they were to continue gaining power, they would throw off the balance of all. These creatures called themselves the Ancients. However, these were not the magic users, these were the scientists. Those who used trivial ways of science to give, discuss how everything worked. But the one thing they could not use their science on was the Terminas. Izuku and Void Termina. This angered them, as the scientists, and as those who use science, believed that anything they couldn't figure out using their, their methods of science wasn't supposed to exist, or was an anomaly in their universe. As with the magic users, they praised both Deku and his sister like gods, which they were. They called them the go. They called Izuku the chaos, the god of chaos and creation, whereas they called his sister the goddess of order and destruction. And yes, I did not get, and no, I did not get that mixed up. Deku's title is the god of creation and ca chaos and creation, while his sister is the goddess of order and destruction. Hold on. The scientific agents came up with a plan. And to get rid of Deku and his sister. As they thought of them as... Nothing more than beings that shouldn't exist due to their scientific rules and due to their scientific methods and rules. The god, however, little did they know that their events or the things that would transpire that would con that would happen that day would alter the very course of history 
towards destruction. As we see Deku and his sister, as the two are fly, are pretty much floating throughout existence. Like gods usually would. Until <clears throat> one of their warrior, one of their greatest warriors, who goes by the name of Highness, would then tell them, um, my lord, my, my lords, my lords, it appears that the, the scientific, that the scientific agents want to have a, and that the scientific agents want to have a truce. Truce. We must go immediately. After all, if a truce happens between the agents, then that would be amazing news. As our two peoples would finally stop having this pointless war with one another. Deku and his sister both nodded in agreement. As the two left, however, and as Highness left with them, I'm excited for peace. However, the very events that transpired were only worse than could have ever been imagined. <laughs> Izuku and his sister arrived in front of the Council of the Ancients. Half of the Council always the magic users. The other was the scientific was the science users. <clears throat> However, little did the gods know that this whole meeting was a setup by the scientific by the, the science users. And using and by using dark arts and by using their own scientific dark arts, they were able to lock away Naruto, and they were able, sorry, not Naruto, Jesus, wrong, wrong anime. They were able to lock away Void, Void Termina, by ripping, by sealing her away within a object, by, within a heart-shaped object. This angered Naruto. And Deku, as he then said, Why would you do this? We were so, we were here for peace. As then this, as then the leaders of the science, Ayn's tribe revealed their ultimate goal, to lock away Deku and his sister, and to make sure that they never were free. However, Deku's loyalist warrior, hold on, as we see Highness then yell, No! What are you doing? Stop it! You're hurting him! You're hurting them! Don't hurt the gods! As she, yes, she, would then summon pillars of flame, along with other beams of magic based attacks. For those who are wondering, wait, yeah, I decided to change the ship. It's Deku X, Kirby villain Harem. So, yeah. And yes, I even included some of the lesser-known villains and some neutral characters, as well as the Galactic Nova, because I honestly don't know if the Galactic Nova counts as a villain or neutral character, because technically all it did was show up and Marks just took advantage of the moment. But anywho... Let's begin. <laughs> As Deku would then say, hey, oh well, um, 
I guess this is goodbye then. As Deku's sister would then look at him with rage in her eyes, as she would then say, no, you will live. <clears throat> as she would then and begin speaking in an unknown language. As she would then grab him. Grab Deku and would then throw and would then blast a beam of rainbow energy at him. Next thing you know, Deku was gone. <clears throat> but he wasn't dead. Oh no no no. Something far are better than death. The sorcerers, I mean the scientists, agents got angry that Deku had gone missing, thinking that he was free and they could never get him back and they could never lock him away now. <clears throat> As we go to Deku's entire empire, or what is left of the Jim Bastion and sorcerers, now they remain evil as the evil villains of the story. Megalora. Megaloria. And Megal and Megalora. Us. Megaloras. The three Megalorian sisters. Yes, even different phases will count. Count as different people. <clears throat> as Deku would then, as we go to Deku, who wakes up next to a tree in what appears to be a, in what appears to be a planet, as he then says, "Uh, what happened? Who am I?" As Deku. Yes, you've guessed it. He has amnesia. As he then says, Where am I? Who am I? What am I? As he is then met with a human named Inko Midoriya. As she then says, Excuse me, is everything alright, sir? As Deku then says, What? Am I? Who am I? Where am I? As she then says, poor thing, you must have amnesia. As Deku then says, what, what's amnesia? As she then says, pretty much all of your memories are gone. As Deku would then say, what? I don't even know who or who I am. Um, what? As she'd say, there, there, come with me. <laughs> I'll get you some um, nice cocoa. I'll warm you up. How's that? Deku would then gently nod. <clears throat> as Inko would bring her him to her house. Where she would then give him some hot cocoa. As it was very cold and wintry outside. As when Deku drank the hot cocoa, his soul immediately turned and began turning kind, releasing this immense positive era, aura around the entire world. And even beyond, as we go to someone on, on, in another world, as... This woman goes by the name of Queen Nightmare, the Sorceress of Darkness. As she then says, huh, what is the positive aura? That much energy can only come from a termina. Wait a minute, that means Izuku Termin is alive. As she would then turn into her orb form and would begin flying away. As she would then think, he's mine. As we go to another world, 
where we see a what appears to be female Chester bouncing around with wings creating black holes and causing mayhem and chaos and death and destruction. As she then and senses the positive energy and says, Holy, that must be a termina. That can only mean one thing. Lord Izuku is alive. As she would then flash out of nowhere. And as she would then teleport away. As we go to another place somewhere on Earth. As we see this young, as we see what appears to be a computerized version of Winter Schnee, of Winter Schnee from Ruby. Like, seriously, I'm not even joking. Put a snowflake or ice cube emoji in the comments if you think that looks like Winter Schnee. Winter Schnee. I can't say it. Schnee, 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 Schnee. Uh, winter Schnee. As she would then and think, hmm, positive energy output located. Too much positive energy for mortal creature running database of positive energy flow. Izuku. Database found. Izuku Termina. The god of chaos and creation. <clears throat> Brother of the goddess of destruction and of order and destruction. Hmm. Interesting. As we go to another world where we see a woman inside of a mirror. <clears throat> As she then thinks, Huh? Is that what I think it is? Huzzah! Finally! It's not over. The master is alive. Rally the troops. S prepare for siege on the mort on the real world. And not and then many others would follow. All setting course for one place. Planet Earth. <laughs> As we go to somewhere else and the farthest side of existence within the largest black hole imaginable, we see three sisters. Two are chained up while the other, and two are chained up while the other bounces around and, and tinkers with stuff. As all three sisters feel that resonating and that resonating aura of pure positivity, as Dick, as Megalora then says, "Sisters, Megalorias, and Megalora, Oria, Megaloras." It appears years that that the gods have returned. The god has returned. As Megaloria would then say, Really? Izuku has returned? Hmm. Well then. And let's bust out of this black hole. As the third says, Exactly. Hmm. If we want Izuku to be ours, we need to bust out of this black hole already. As the three would then ex and shatter the black hole and would teleport or to Earth. As we go back to Deku, who is sipping this hot cocoa adorably. As he then says, ah, thank you for the hot cocoa, miss. As she then says, Inko Midoriya. As he then says, thank you, Miss Midoriya, for the hot cocoa. As suddenly, Izuku hears a voice echoing from all around him, and it says, Izuku, 
Are you awake? This old crow, are you awake? As he then asks Inko if he heard that, if she heard that, she nods her head known confusion. As Deku would then say, do you not hear that? It's some sort of voice screaming for me. I'm screaming, and it said the name is Zuku. Is that my name? I think I would then say, maybe. As we go to six locations across Japan, each is a person, person who has been infected by a Jamba heart. The Jamba hearts are pretty much pieces of darkness and hatred manifested into physical forms. <laughs> As the six Jamba hearts are in possession of six different humans. The first being in a human named Tomura Shigaraki. The second being a human named Overhaul. The third being a human named All for One. The fourth being a human named Aim Nine. The fifth being in a human named Hold on. The fifth being in a human named Um Dabi and the sixth being in a human named Toga Himiko. As the prophecy states and as we go to a a place and as we go to League of Villains in space, as a woman then says, as the prophecy states when the six Jamba hearts are reconnected, it, the great goddess will, will be free. Order and destruction will reign endlessly until she finds, finds her sleeping, tw until she finds her younger and innocent twin. As in Togo would then say, wait, 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 wait. Highness, you didn't tell us anything about this goddess having a twin. As Highness would then say, Let's just say I work, I used to work for the gods, and they still do, in a way. However, in order to work for them, they need to be free. And so, I have my boss... Us working on, and so I have been put in charge of freedom of the gods. Now, the br now the god who goes by the name of Azuku Termina is already free and walking about. However, he is amnesia, while the other is was shattered into six different pieces. Each belongs to a powerful person within Japan. That's the reason why I gathered the six of you here. Hold on. You good, Nick? Hold on. As these six hearts each reside in one of you, Tomura Shigaraki, you have to one of the six Jamba hearts. Toga him Himiko Toga. You have another one of the six Jamba hearts. Dabi. Overhaul. All for one. And last but certainly not least, Sting. The six Jamba hearts were created to cause endless destruction and doom. 
However, the six Jamba Hearts are only the one, a part of the one Omega Jamba Heart, which is, a, which is the prison of the Almighty Goddess Void Termina. When she is free, she will most likely either a, devour everything in sight, which is good, or b, look for her brother, which is also good. As she would then say, and frankly, I don't care if you're on my side or not. Because in order to get the six Jamba Hearts, I have to kill you. As she then say, now hold still. As suddenly beams of flame, and the suddenly pillars of magic would strike down on the six humans. As she then say, there, now the six Jamba Hearts, and hearts are back together once more. And now, Void Termina, arise, Dark Goddess. Your brother awakens and has awakened. Memorily, memoryless, he is low. You must ha, and you must find him and bring him back to the side of the gods. As suddenly, the giant heart would then begin shaking. Revealing a non-corporeal, 3D, sort of hologramish form of Void Termina. As she would then say, My brother is a, my brother has awakened, but he has amnesia. As he then, as Highness would then say, Yes, my mistress. However, there's one major problem. In order for you to take physical form, either A, you need to absorb an extraordinarily large amount of hate and negativity, which we sadly don't have, or B, wait a total of 10 years to do, um, wait a total of 10 years to have absorbed some enough magical energy. However, the other beings might get your brother other by then. I might get your brother by then. As Void Termina would then morph into her, her, her exterior form, as she would then say, "What? Go and find him." As we go to Deku, who, like a trigger reaction, morphs into this form. As he then says, "Huh? What? What?" Huh? What has happened? As Deku would then hear uh, hear a voice saying, "Calm down, um, great one. Your life is not over yet." Still, the humanity and the agents who purged your sister need to be purged from reality. And the powers which you once had need to be reclaimed. As Deku would then say, how do I reclaim them? As the voice would then say, stay with this Inca woman. With for ten years you must train and live as if you were a normal human. As he then say, uh, okay. As he would then and begin training, and as uh, so eventually after that, Deku would begin and training, not just with his powers but with physical. Or skills and weapons as well. Little did Deku know that he was being watched by many yandere's, and by many beautiful and powerful sorceresses, each wanting Deku as for their own. And that's the wrong. (laughs) 
as we go to Deku, and as the dastardly and powerful deities would wait for the time to strike, to take Deku's innocence once and for all, and claim him as their own. And that is the end of this part. Hope you all have enjoyed part zero of What If Deku Was Void Terminus Twin. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. See y'all later. Goodbye and, you know, skadoosh.